See the next problem in Taylor series method. Solve the initial value problem. Y dash is equal to y minus x. Comma y of 0 is equal to. This is called initial value problem. Also estimate the value of y of 0 0.1. Y value at 0 is given to you. Which is 2. Okay. You have to estimate the value of y at x is equal to 0 0.1. Okay. See. So once again write the given initial value problem in the solution y dash is equal to y minus x with the condition y at 0 is equal to 2 take it equation of 1 here x naught value is 0 and y naught value is 2 ok so we know that the Taylor series method The Taylor series method is y of x is equal to y naught plus x minus x naught whole power 1 by 1 factorial into y naught dash. It is nothing but derivative of y at the point x naught. Okay. Plus x minus x naught whole square by 2 factorial into y naught double dash plus x minus x naught whole cube by 3 factorial into y naught triple dash finally x minus x naught whole power 4 by 4 factorial y naught fourth derivative ok fourth derivative of y at the point x naught and so on up to infinity take it equation number a so it is enough to find out the unknown derivatives involved in the Taylor series ok already y naught is provided in the given problem which is initial condition and uh, we have to find out y naught dash after that y naught double dash after that y naught triple dash and fourth derivative of y at the point x naught you have to find out these unknown derivatives it is not necessary to find out the higher order derivatives okay at least you have to find out three or four derivatives see from the given problem already we have since y dash is equal to y minus x what is y naught dash y naught dash expression okay in Taylor series method you have to write this notations perfectly it is important thing here okay whenever we have variable we have to replace it by y naught and x by x naught it is enough what is y naught it would be 2 what is x naught x naught is 0 so 0 2 minus 0 so y naught dash is equal to 2 okay take another derivative with respect to x by taking derivative with respect to x you will get y double dash already first derivative is there so it's another derivative is y double dash derivative of y is y dash because we are taking the derivative with respect to x and the derivative of x with respect to x is 1 so from this what is y naught double dash y naught dash minus 1 so y naught dash is got just 2 2 minus 1 it would be 1. So, this is the value of y naught double dash. Now, we have to take another derivative with respect to x. So, you will get y triple dash. y triple dash is equal to derivative of y dash is second derivative y double dash minus derivative of 1 which is a constant which is 0 y double dash. From this what is y naught triple dash? Simply y naught double dash. But from the previous 1 what is y naught dash y naught double dash it would be 1 so y naught triple dash is also 1 now take another derivative y triple dash, fourth derivative ok y 4 dashes otherwise you can write roman 4 fourth derivative ok so you have to write third derivative of this one so y naught fourth derivative is equal to y naught triple dash it would be also 1 and so on. Substitute these all values in Catley, which is Taylor series method. Okay. So, you will get y of x is equal to y naught is given as 2 plus x minus 0. It would be x. x by 1 factorial into y naught dash. y naught dash is also 2. So, x by 1 into 2 plus 
x square by 2 factorial into 1 because y not double dash is 1 x cube by 3 factorial into 1 plus x power 4 by 4 factorial into 1 plus so on okay so however what is y of x 2 plus 2x plus x square by 2 factorial is known as 2 plus x cube by 3 factorial is 6 it is 1 and uh, x power 4 by 4 factorial is 24 plus so on up to infinity okay this is the required solution of given initial value problem okay in this one we have to replace x is equal to 0.1 okay because we have to estimate the value of y of 0.1 so 2 plus 2 times of 0.1 plus 0.1 whole square by 2 plus 0.1 whole cube by 6 plus 0.1 whole power 4 by 24 it is not necessary to replace the x value is equal to 0.1 in the higher degree terms because they were almost become zero that's why the higher degree terms does not affect the answer okay by using your scientific calculator you will get this answer as wait a second 2.2 2.0517 okay i got this one you can also check this value once okay in the next video i will give some more problems on solving initial value problems by using various new methods thank you very much